Twitter as well as manufacturing home tours and a live tour. I hope you can hear me because I have an earpiece in. I'm not sure, so in a minute I'm going to look at that camera, and if you can't hear me, you can yell at me later, but welcome to the 2024 Louisville Manufactured Home Show, and we are going to take a look at a wonderful Fairmont built by Cavco, um, well, definitely Fairmont Cavco Company. The home that we're going to look at today, everyone, is known as the Ives. Now, this home right here, I read off this piece of paper, is a 28... All right, so this right here, excuse me, this is the Ives. Let me take a look at this, because this is a little different. The Ives 24033 RESD. Now, this is a three bed, two bath that sits at 1,624 feet. I love what they've done with this uh, home. So, enough of me on this camera. Let me go get that, and let's start walking around this home and checking it out together. Because I don't even know if anybody's on the street. I hope somebody is. Let's go. Oh. Hello, everyone. Now that I'm in front or behind the camera and I can see who's here, how we doing? Miss you guys. Thank you for joining me. And let's take a home tour here at the Louisville Manufactured Home Show. Like I said, this one right here is known as the Ives. It's a new uh, floor plan built by Fairmont Homes up here, and it is owned by Cavco now. So that's why it's you know, Fairmont Homes, Cavco Company. But take a look at this exterior. I'm loving the Craftsman style. We've got a 312 pitch roof. This one is uh, vinyl siding um, on it, but I can only imagine that you could probably switch that up if you wanted to. Um, and yeah, so here is the exterior here. And we're gonna take a glance at this floor plan right now. So you can see what I'm talking about. Now we've got the Ives, three bed, two bath, 1,620 square foot, um, nice sized bedrooms. We're gonna go in there and take a look right now. But here's a glimpse of what we're seeing at the Louisville Manufactured Home Show. Everybody's leaving right now. So, hi. But look at all of this. We've got trucks. We've got, Cavco's giving that away. That's pretty cool. Um, but here's a lot of the homes that we are gonna take a look at probably in the next couple of months. So follow along, let's have some fun. Um, hopefully I don't mess up this live because you know, I think my last live I did it in, um, in Michigan and the internet was horrible. So if anybody was on that, I apologize. But now let's get in and take a look at this home. We've got mini blinds on this home as you can see walking in, as I mentioned, the Craftsman style doorway. Nice, solid, thick. Nobody's home but me, because everybody's going home now. So here we go. Check this out. How about a focal point when you walk in? I'm loving that right there. We have a nice um, entertainment center built right into the wall. Sorry for a second. I'm locking the door so nobody comes in and, you know, messes everything up. But take a look at that. We have an electric fireplace right there. Plenty of shelving here, you know, on the right and left side. Um, we've got shiplap right here and um it's real wood real wood um there we are we've got a nice big window letting that natural light in that's pretty rad i love that um but yeah let's take a look at this living room now the size of this living room is 20 feet 11 inches by 12 feet 11 inches um that's actually a pretty nice size um here is the marriage line up top and then down below, what? You don't see a marriage line down there? Neither do I. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right. So that right there is the living room. Of course, everybody knows that fan comes with the home. That TV doesn't. But look what they've done over here. I'm loving, um, I'm loving what they did with that dining room. I think uh, my home is now going to turn into a pool table and not a dining room because that would be fun. What do you guys think? Ooh. And now this one right here, we are going to take a look at. What I love about this one is it has a double, like, double doorway pantry. It's probably not the right words for it, but um, I love the way they did this. Now, as you can see, this home out here, we've got tape and texture, uh, sheet walls, you know. And then in here, some of it is board and batten, as you can see. So I don't know if we can consider this a hybrid. I don't think so, but it's looking pretty nice. Plenty of storage space. Now, the one thing, the one difference about doing home tours live in comparison to like when I do them out on the road is one, I do do, I do the voiceovers later because 
I'm always going. And sometimes YouTube just doesn't give me the quality I want to see. So, but look at this. It's really nice. I mean, what would what would you do with this area here? I mean, maybe a coffee area? I don't know, maybe just more storage in here. Ooh. We got the roll out, sh roll out shelves there. Pretty nice. Let's take a look. Uh oh, nobody saw that. Apparently they fixed it. <laughs> but nice big solid shelves, I'd have to say. I love the blue subway tile accent here. That's nice, especially with that little window there, leaving that, that even more light into this pantry area. That's pretty cool. Now I mentioned this being a coffee area, but I forgot. Here, yeah, there we go, a dry bar. That would be great because this could be technically your wannabe wet bar, right? <laughs> your coffee area. I love, now this, this Whirlpool comes with this home. What? I haven't seen this one yet. Nice, long, it looks like you can fit a half size turkey, you know, squished, but long. So, but this one's pretty cool. We got uh, more storage right here, taking a look at that. And then I love what we're starting to do with stoves and cookware. They're changing it. You see the vents are in the back. Everything's up front. I'm loving this look and design, even complimentary with the white, you know, accented subway tiles and the, uh, the, the range hood. That's really cool. But I mean, pretty nice. Oh, and one more thing about uh, YouTube is I don't have that wide of lens. So sometimes I don't get to see as much as I want to show. So there we go. There we go. And then, of course, oh, I like that. That is a nice accent. What do you guys think? Was this pull down faucet? I like the matte black. That's pretty cool. And then, of course, it comes with the home is your cutting board, strainer, drainer, and a nice little window there. You know? And then, again, here's a Whirlpool stainless steel appliance that comes with the home. You know, I took a, I took a lift today um, out to, uh, to the grounds here. And I was talking to a gentleman who didn't know about manufactured housing. And he was actually simply astonished by the simple fact that all of the appliances come with the home. That was what he was most surprised with, you know, let alone the cost, I let him know. Um, but see, look at this. This is nice. Now, the size of this dining room, let me get my paper because I forgot it. The size of this dining room here is nine feet, 11 inches by 12 feet, 11 inches. And I like, again, I like what they've done with it. I mean, even the lighting there, I haven't seen that yet. I like that. I like that. Big windows, of course. And maybe I'm just fond of the TV. Maybe that's it. I don't know. <laughs> let's go in here and let's take a look at our, um, Mudroom, laundry room. This one comes with a nice little locker right here. Sit down, take off your boots. Rain, I am, I am in Kentucky. So um, there's a lot of rain and, and, and wetness and, and snow that this California kid is really not used to, but we're having fun with it. And right over here, as you see, you have your plenty of room for your side-by-sides with a wire shelf right on top, another window letting that natural light in. Um, and then right here, this is where your water heater is, right? behind that so that's an interesting spot to put it it's nice and hidden though i'd have to say you know um and then your electrical panels hidden right here 200 amp power box right there and then don't forget here is the furnace and everything so it's pretty nice pretty nice so that was the laundry room um the size of the laundry room is somewhat yeah, it's all relevant. Do you sell your room? It's not too bad. So yeah. And then we're walking out here, taking a look. Let's go check out some bedrooms. Now the first guest room we are walking into, this one is 11 feet to seven inches by 13 feet. Huh. So yeah, I could be wrong. All right, that's not a bad size here. Let's take a look inside the closet here. 
Now I'm seeing a little bit of a difference in uh, the floor plan. So that's why I kind of stalled there. Um, I think there's a few options that uh, you can check out. Now, uh, usually I'd offer, hey, you know, take a look at the link below. It'll take you directly to this floor plan. Well, we don't have that yet. We're gonna get that tonight. So this is the first look at this home um, all across the board. So nice lighting right there. We've got a nice mirror. Your single vanity, three drawers, nice sized toilet here. And that is about an eight foot, eight inch drop there with a nice uh, resin tile shower. Look at that, that's nice. Your shower head's looking nice, better than some of the hotels I see. <laughs> and now this room right here, if I was a kid, I would love it. So walking in here, the uh, other size is um, 11 feet, 10 inches by 9 feet, 4 inches. And they have it set up more as a game room in here. And I'm telling you, I'm getting ideas. If you follow the channel, you know, me and the family are a bunch of nerds that love to uh, play games and all that when I'm on the road. So this room would be awesome. Let's take a look. So, I mean, it can handle lots of boxes. <laughs> so there we go and again thank you everybody for joining me on the live tour thank you for joining me on where's will in general you know we started this a few years ago having fun at it uh meeting a lot of great people out there people who do the same thing learning from each other and just having a blast so thank you everybody and if, if you have followed the channel for a while you've noticed that i've slowed down a little bit since about october well i needed a little break um, going, traveling so much this last year, just to let everybody know, I traveled over 55,000 miles, uh, capturing home tours, photos and everything else. So I needed a little break, but don't worry because we are going to wrap this back up again and you're going to have more home tours coming on a weekly basis. So now that we are in the primary, this primary is approximately 14 feet, five inches by 12 feet, 11 inches. According to the paperwork, two big windows there. Nice. Nice. Oh, look at those mirrors. Let's see. Take a look at the other side of the room so we don't miss anything. And now into the primary bath. Now, this, this room is pretty nice. I like those mirrors. I'm just going to stop there for a second. I have not seen those mirrors yet. Um, there's of course lighted ones. I think we've all seen, you know, a little bit of like, uh, like frosted glass around them, but this one is really cool because it, the light is actually in set. So that, that comes standard. That's, that's really cool. I like that. Good solid construction. You know, another thing that gentleman was like, surprised about when I was talking to him, he's like, what are these homes made of? The exact same thing that your home is made of. The exact thing. Look at this double vanity there and loving that look, loving that. Oh, and you know what, Robert? Your homes in Pasco are outstanding. So little side note, everybody, if you are in Pasco, Washington, go take a look. Those homes, um, I, the homeboys is amazing. The way they take care of them, the way they look, uh, yeah. But look at that, I, that shower is, yeah, amazing, amazing. And then right here is where your commode is, hidden behind the door, which is always nice because I personally like them away from any kind of showers and whatnot, but hey, that's just me. And then the primary closet. Now this, of course, with the fan base is a 50-50. Some people like it in the, uh, in the bathroom, restroom areas. Some people hate it. Let me know what you think in those comments, you know, because of course YouTube wants to see that. So, and by the way, if you haven't done so yet, drop a like. If you're thinking about it, hit that subscribe button and follow along on this crazy journey we got going across the U.S. Um, pretty soon, I'm going to try to do some different types of tours, 360 tours, where, um, you know, once in a while, where I'm going to put the camera in the middle of the room and where I'm just going to walk around and tell you all about the house. And you can look at what you want to. So we're going to try a couple of those here and there. But, I mean, this house is gorgeous. I like it. Um, I mean, look at that Eden, island, that Eden counter there for four. That is amazing. I love in this house. So um, pretty soon we're going to have this 
um, online, so you can take a look at it at manufacturedhomes.com, and then pretty soon over at the Fairmont um, websites and CAFCO. So when you get a chance, take a look at them, or as soon as I know when they're up, I'll let you know. But take a look, and thank you, everyone, uh, for joining me today on this home tour. I truly appreciate it. Let me do something real quick here. Yeah, you know, that's like 50-50, you know? So, but there we go. Let me see. Let me spin this around. Oh, I'm sorry about that uh, roller coaster ride right there, everybody. But um, there you go. Thank you, everyone, uh, for joining me on, on this live tour. I hope you like this Fairmont. It's the Ives 24403 RESD, I think. But the links will be in, in, in the comments below and everything else. But... Again, thank you guys. This was a nice home. Um, we're going to try to do some more lives too, as long as I have a stable internet connection. I hope this worked out great for you because it worked out pretty decent for me. So thank you, everybody. Hope maybe, you know what, maybe we'll do this again tomorrow. Yeah, if you're, maybe we'll do this again tomorrow. So take a look, six o'clock tomorrow, we'll do another home. So thank you everyone for joining me. I'm going to go start taking those 3D tours, photos, and some more video right now. But thanks again. I'll see you next time. But in the meantime, remember to live smarter, choose manufactured, travel easy, and have a wonderful day. See you next time, everybody.